Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to explore Streamlit's newest feature, Session State. Right? So this is a very exciting feature that everybody has been waiting for. So Session State simply is a way that we use to track whatever you are doing within a browser, within a session. Right? It's a way you can store information across app interactions and mirrors. So this is the official website the, and an official tutorial, blog.streamlit.io. It gives a lot of information about this wonderful feature right session state so now let's see how to actually implement session state and build something very cool right so i'm just going to go back to my app so this is my app here and then this is a simple tutorial on it so if i go to the app straight away and i check this particular place then the session state here is empty right there's nothing there right and if i go back to the settings option of the app something very simple i have this simple test here which is session state is here so in case i want to increase the font of this particular one so if i go with increase font it's going to increase the font to 17 if i add another one 22 right very simple so session state is here so now if i move from this particular part of the app right this particular page and i go to let's say the about page this is 22 initially and i come back again to the settings it is still 22 right nothing has changed right very cool that is a concept about session state so you're able to store the information in that particular session right and then even though i rerun the app over and over again it is still stored there right in case you want to see that the app was rerunning let's try it again if i increase the font here you see that it's running right the app is running here as you can see if i increase it again the app is running right so i'm storing the session right the information across several reruns and it's still working if i move up from this particular place to the home you're going to see the information stored there right? so these are going to be all the current states right 32 very simple if i go back again to the settings of the app and i go back here it's still going to be 32 as it was and i can decrease the font so this is a very nice feature that allows you to be able to do a lot of things right very cool so how does this session state work so the simplest approach is that let me show you a simple picture this is how it works so in Streamlit, a session state belongs to a particular user or a particular browser tab right so a single user accessing my Streamlit app or my Streamlit server app is a single browser tab, right? So if I have, if I'm on the same PC and I open several browsers or browser tab, they are all going to be seen as different users and different sessions are going to be created for all of them, right? So user A, if user A access this particular app with that particular browser that he, browser tab that he has opened, it's a different session altogether. And the information of that particular browser tab or that user is stored in, in one session, right? perfect if another browser tab is open that is a different user and that's a different session also right very simple very good it is very very use useful so it is per user per tab info storage very cool and very wonderful now let me explain it again in a different way so if i go back again to the app so we have my app here which is 22 here i'm going to open another tab right so i'll just go back again let's create another new tab or let's create a new window right or a new tab or a new window this is a new window I want to show you the what I'm trying to explain and let's put this one beside it right so this is going to be here and it's going to be here, right so I'm going to open the same app that we are having the same local app I'm going to access it using a different browser right a different tab altogether so this is for the streamlit session and this is 22 once I open a new browser tab it's going to be totally different right everything is going to be different you can see from here that this is zero there is no initialized sessions here as you can see this is zero there's nothing here if i go back to this place and i check out from the home page to see the current state of the sessions you can see that this is having these particular values there right 22 but this is zero right if i let's change it from here i'll just go back to the settings change the color so that you know that there are different browsers let's move it from dark team to light team right so this is a different user right if I go back to the same place that we we're going the settings and i make some changes right that particular information stored there is not going to influence this particular part of the app right it's going to be different this is 12 right but if i go back to here i don't know whether you can see it all i hope everybody can see it all this this is the font here is what 22 right the same app is running but different sessions have been created for each and every of the app right that is a concept about session state very cool very nice right it allows you to be able to store information per that user per that tab right across several reruns right so if i increase this one here to 20 
seven right it's not affected this is not affected right because that is a different session altogether if i go back again this is not affected if i decrease the font from here from this one this is going to be smaller from this that is very very interesting but the same app so the concept is that a single server or app right streamlit app running anytime i open a new browser or a new tab it's a different a different session is going to be created which is going to store and track that information for that open current browser right as you are seeing as you are seeing from the demonstration here right apologies for the noise you're hearing behind i hope the audio is okay right very nice so that is a basic understanding so if i open thousands of tabs right on my phone on this same laptop different sessions are going to be created to track that information in that particular open browser tab so the only time i'm going to lose this one here is when i come back again right and i rerun this not rerun but refresh the entire stuff so once i refresh this right or reload it let's go with control r right i refresh it now so that everything is gone so every information there is going to be lost right so it is risk it is creating a new apologies for the noise it is creating a new session altogether right that is the basic understanding behind it so this is a new session with nothing you know information there right very nice and very cool so that is a basic understanding behind streamless session states so it allows you to be able to store variables and info between reruns for each computer that you run for each one of them right very cool so we have these two ones there very nice this is still seven and this is empty so in the next session we're trying to see how to actually implement the same concept of how to create your own session state how to use this particular feature right but you can also check the tutorial around in case you want that is a basic understanding so to recap it's like this right very simple the other way we can also explain this like this we just apologize for this yeah this or something else okay so anytime an app this is a simple workflow right anytime you create you work with stream streamless session state you define a variable which is going to be a clean state then anytime you apply a function on it it's going to go to the clean state you have created right and then store that particular value there anytime you call back the function it updates it like that as you can see from this particular image right so it's still going to store it until you rerun the entire stuff right until you rerun the until you not rerun until you open a new tab or you refresh the entire stuff if i go and i clear the cache and i refresh it the entire sessions are going to be lost where you can also check for the sessions in case you want but most of the time sessions are stored on the server side right so in case you want to check it out some some of some websites can allow you to be able to do this let's go back go back to the developer tools more tools developer tools i can be able to see the session storage right but in this case it is stored on the server right on the streamless server running hopefully yes yeah. so if i go to the applications and then from here i go back to you see that we have the local storage there's nothing there right there's no information stored here the information is supposed to be these are the information there right very nice and then if i go back again to the session storage here you said there is no information because the information is actually stored on the server side most of the time right very simple so that is the basic idea behind session state in streamlit so in this session i'm trying to see how to build it so thank you for watching and check the link below for some interesting materials i also have created a patreon page in case you want to support the channel you can also let us know and then you can also check the materials and the tutorials on how to master machine learning python and then streamlit see you in the next session stay blessed bye